Hello everyone and welcome back to video. In today's video we're going to be using Arthur on dogs. So I decided to go straight for dogs instead of doing deer because deer is kind of boring to be honest. And dogs is a little bit harder but also Tona is the main character for it and she's human which means that I can use Ally Escanor, I can use Arthur and they're going to get even more stats from it which is really what I want. Uh, gear wise we have HP crit res on uh, Tonar with resistance rolls, uh, HP piece, HP defense with defense rolls, HP defense with Arthur, attack rate dam with Roxy and Escanor because they're going to be our, mainly our two DPSs. Arthur's basically just there for the basic stats, the taunt. Uh, I have not given him red Tarmio, mainly because they, they, they're still going to target Tonar. Doesn't matter what, they just hate Tonar for some reason, which is completely fine. Uh, I just let them target Tonar. I can have a Tomio link, you know, she provides 40% HP related stats, so of course these guys can just heal for themselves. They don't have any healers, which is maybe the slight problem. I have done this before, I done this last night, I just to test to make sure I could actually do it with this team. It is possible Tonal nearly died, maybe I had a bad run, I'm not too sure. Uh, for card set, we're just running the, the dog's card set, which is basically, you get 10% basic stats, and when you got max or gauge, you're immune to freeze, which is kind of nice. But links wise, i gone for, uh, where her name is Merlin on Escanor, mainly just for the increased crit chance as well as the combined ultimate. Uh, Queen Deanne mainly just for HP, and then once again, Margaret just for HP on uh, Roxy so they can tank better. But anyway, let's get into it. Before this video starts, do you know that 87.6% of you that watch my videos are not subscribed? And it would really help me out if you could subscribe. We're currently on the road to a thousand subscribers, and I'd really appreciate you to subscribe to my channel. Anyway, uh, I appreciate you watching my videos, and uh, I hope you enjoy. On with the video! First floor time. Hopefully this shouldn't be too bad. First floor should actually be quite easy. I don't think I should struggle on this floor. I think I need to get Arthur's taunt. I think always the first phase of the first floor. So the first phase of each floor is going to be the hardest because I won't have my taunt up. I keep pressing the wrong button like an idiot. And then I'm going to Roxy AoE last because Roxy's AoE I'm pretty sure will do the most with the attack relate stat boost. I don't think I'm going to need any stance cancels, to be honest. I think this team has enough DPS to not need one. No crit from Escanor, even though he's got ex extremely high crit chance. Roxy's not going to miss any crits, because she has an, an absurdly high amount of crit chance and crit damage at the moment, so that's fine. Two extra Tonar skills is actually quite nice. I might actually play both of them and then play two Arthur skills. Because I'm pretty sure Arthur can kill. Uh, especially if you can land the crits, and of course Arthur has quite high crit chance. Let's look at his crit chance. 165. What's Escanor's? Tonos is quite low. I know Tonos is quite low. Escanor's is 214. You're telling me he missed a crit. Okay. I don't play these. Uh, Arthur should still hit the crits because he has Sever. Oh, no, not Sever. It's like two times crit chance. It's close enough. Tonos give me a crap ton of ult gauge. And then that's damage cap, and then of course the Roxy second hit. Because I have all weapons for Roxy but the Christmas one, because of course I don't actually own the Christmas one, so I can't have the Christmas outfit. Uh, damage should be quite good. What I will actually do here is I know I can just kill by just spamming skills, and I have so many I can just do this. That's damage cap. Bang, second hit. Damage cap, second hit, and that's gonna kill. So there we go. Super easy, super quick. Um, so realistically, if I do this, this, I know Roxy can just one-shot the boss, so I'm not too fast. I think Escanor can as well. Yeah, 1.7 mil. I'd use Arthur's ult here for the basic stat boost. Turn off, finishes the job. There we go. First phase, sorry, first floor, super easy. On to the second floor now. On to the second floor now. It should be pretty quick. Speed run time. Uh, once again, I'm probably going to do the same thing I did last time. Like, Arthur's AoE is not going to do too much, and the fact it's an AoE, it's not going to be that useful until the final phase, and I'm not really too fussed about it, so we do this, we do this, this. Roxy's AoE is like the one I know I can trust for just insane DPS. Which is what I'm going to be doing, because Roxy will save me. Arthur's damage is going to be really bad until he starts getting the buff, which is completely fine. It's understandable. It's going to actually crit, which is nice. And then Roxy's AoE does about the same as Escanor's single target, which is quite good. It's quite good. These Ignites are going to be a real pain to deal with. He's going to be really, really, really easy to deal with. 
Should be fine though. The reason this is the reason I gave Rot Rotomi a link to Toto, because she just gets abused for no reason. Um I kinda wanna like do this, this, and then double single target with Arthur. So I'm pretty sure Arthur can hit the damage cap. I wanna remove that. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure the first Arthur card's gonna kill. And if Tonart does magically crit, that will Okay, yeah, Arthur killed. There we go. And if Tonar magically crits, that's going to just make it even easier. Um, I kind of want to like... I wonder if I can kill it in one turn. But like, if I do that, I'm going to have to do something like this. Which is doable. I'm pretty sure I can, this can kill. Well, I'm pretty sure if this crits, which it won't. I, she, she did crit last time, when I was doing this, uh, for the first time, she was critting. That's damage cap. Second hit. Let's get damage cap. Second hit. Uh, Escanor. He can say he should kill. He didn't hit damage cap, which is kind of a shock. He has really high stats, and he's still not hitting damage cap. Now we have everyone's ultimate, which is nice. So what my plan will be is to uh, ult with these two, then ult with him. And then ult with Tonar. The reason I'm ulting with two, uh, Tonar last is that these two are basically guaranteed to crit. So it does double death damage. Which then take it below the marker on which now uh, Arthur should just be able to wipe him. Yep. And then, then we start working on this one. And she crit. Nice. Oh, I am scared of this dog. Like really, really badly scared of this dog. Because of that, that single skill there. If it attacks Arthur it's fine. Arthur's just like a super tank. That AoE is like... It does basically it does extra damage per... Ignite stack basically on me. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I'll do this. I'm trying to get as much life steal back as possible, so I'll just do this and do this. This should kill. Roxy should hit cap, uh, and uh, Arthur should maybe hit cap. There's no debuff, so he might struggle to hit cap. No, he actually hit cap and Roxy didn't, so quite good. And that is the second floor done. On to the final floor now. On to the final floor of dogs now. Which, uh,. Should be hopefully not too bad. I do think we might struggle uh, a little bit later on because this is where freeze really starts to kick in. And my team doesn't have the highest HP at the moment. What I will do is I actually need to target this dog because if not, Tono won't deal any damage. I can target this one, do this, do this, and then do this. The reason I use the Roxy AoE at the end is because. It's, her AoE isn't really that useful, plus it also does quite good damage with the attack related stat boost and her relic. So 116, 162k. Okay, it, her AoE still did more to the white dog than Eskino single target, which is to be expected, kind of, uh, honestly. Just don't kill her. I need her alive, please. Just don't. There's so much damage it's doing. As long as it's single target again, I should be fine. This is like this is the pain I want to deal with this boss. Um, I'm gonna do this for safety and then this as well. So the reason I use these double tonar skills is really just for the uh, sort of healing, and we got a crit as well, which is quite nice. Mainly for the stacks of her relic as well as the healing. Escanor, it's damage cap easy. Arthur should deal enough. Yeah, no damage cap, but still quite a chunk of damage, which is quite nice. Okay, no one on my team can be frozen. I do have to use Tonal's ult here, because if not it disappears. So we use Tonal's ult. I might just do this and see if I can kill it. Let's see if I can kill it. Didn't land the crit, which is kind of sad. Please, Escanor. Once again, didn't land a crit, lovely. Maybe Roxy can somehow, with a level 2, do 30% of its HP. If she can, she's actually insane if she can do this. She did. Okay, she did damage cap. Uh, with a level 2 AoE skill. That's actually insane. Okay, who am I more scared of? The black dog, which is the one who provides the debuffs, and he's the guy who provides the ignites. I'm just thinking, who am I more afraid of? They're both using two skills. Like, because what are your, your, what's your attack skills? Co-destruction. Probably more scared of him. Uh, we'll do what we normally do, which is this, this, this. And I'll throw in the Roxy single target just in case. 
Okay, that crit's cool. This should crit. Cool. The double hit and Arthur maybe kills here, please. Kills, 1 6. Then we get some nice damage on the next dog. Damage cap. Lovely. We should be fine. Arthur wants to get in his taunting, so any single target skills are just going to go straight for him, which is completely fine. He has enough HP to tank the entire team. That's the AoE, that's terrifying. It's like, I'm pretty sure I got lowest HP crit. Yeah, lowest HP guarantees he gets a crit, which is irritating. Arthur has a lot of HP. Do we have max tonal relic? I don't think we even have max tonal relic. No, we didn't. <laughs> we, we kill it so quickly, we don't even have max tonal relic. I'll say this team is good, right? But there is a problem, as I think, like, I still do think that Albedo is better, mainly because of um, just she just generally the team feels a lot tankier, and I feel like if you got really bad RNG on this, that you, you're going to struggle to do this. If you get really bad RNG, you're not going to be able to do it. Once again, it's done. Super easy. Roxy carried like Roxy, a hundred percent carried us, which is fine. I'm fine with Roxy carrying us. She does a lot of damage. Her relic is really good. She's got. Decent basic stats because of Arthur, her own her own relic, and then Tonar. Good character. Would I recommend this team? Yeah, it's okay. It, it's a usable team. You know, if you don't have Albedo, this is still, in my opinion, quite an easily usable team. But I would say Albedo is still slightly better, mainly because it's a lot, it's a lot brainless. It's a lot more brainless than this team. This team, I think, you have to maybe think about a little bit about life steal and about what you're going to do for the next phase. But I think like that's just sort of. Um, dogs in general. Anyway, thank you for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.